Hello, I am State Representative Paul Harris speaking to you from the Capitol Campus in Olympia. The 2013 session is underway and we have dynamics in play this year that could make it for an interesting session. We have a new governor who pledged not to raise taxes during his run for office and now he is backtracking. In the Senate there is a, a majority coalition that consists of 23 Republicans and two Democrats that leaves the balance of power during the session in a very precarious state. Since the split is 25 to 24, one member can change the balance in the blink of an eye. In the House, the D's are still in the majority, but our caucus will help our new gov governor remember his pledge, now is not the time to raise taxes. We will continue to work to pass a responsible budget that prioritizes education, public safety, and protects our most vulnerable citizens. And we, we will fund education first. That means all day kindergarten and smaller class sizes. Education should be getting the first dollar and not the last dime. Our caucus will also keep pushing to improve our economic environment and to encourage private sector job growth. There are still too many Washingtonians out of work or underemployed. I believe those people who want to work deserve an opportunity to do so. It is within the legislature's control to address the state's uncertainty in, in the economy. You should also know that our caucus is proposing to modify the rules on our house. The rules that would benefit taxpayers, like assisting in funding education first and giving citizens more of a say in the public hearing access. First, we want to place the supermajority vote, the provision as in initiative 1180, in 1185 into the House rules. There is a chance that 1185 will get thrown out by the courts. Despite voters' approval of this two-thirds vote over five times since 1993, 64 percent of the voters statewide approved this measure. It passed in every county in the state, and 44 out of the 49 legislative districts voted for it. In fact, in the 17th district, 72 percent voted in favor of this measure. The courts may not hear our voice, but our caucus is listening. Second, we want to put into rule the Fund Education First proposal. Our caucus has proposed a version of this since 2006. It is time to fully fund education, not only to be in compliance with the McCleary decision, but our kids and schools should not be used as a chip in the budgeting process, in the, I'm sorry, in the negotiation of our budgets. The majority party proposes tax increases and looks for more revenue by placing our children on the ballot. Third, we want to prioritize citizen testimony in committees. People who take the time to come to Olympia to share their views should be given priority over the Olympia Insider and the lobbyists. We often know where these people individuals stand on their issues, but we need to hear from you, the taxpayer, on how proposed laws will impact you. This, is also, this also makes us more accountable and more accessible. Finally, we want to see each legis legislator get a public hearing on a, at least one of his bills. Legislators represent about 137,000 people. It shows bipartisanship and a willing to represent and to listen to concerns of all the districts across the state. At the time of this taping, we, did, we have not debated these issues yet or these rule changes. I will give you an update in my next video. Please feel free to contact me in Olympia if you have any questions on any of these issues or anything that you would like to talk about. I look forward to hearing from you and it is my honor and privilege to serve you as your representative in the 17th District. Thank you very much.